three or best of, in best of one, you get uh, seven hundred extra gems, don't you? Isn't it fifteen hundred to enter, and then you get twenty two hundred if you go seven? Best of three is still better, though. All right, we're gonna take Igneous Inspiration. Decent pack, though. Pledge Mage, Lash, Hunt, Books, Iteration, Satchel. Uh, okay. No! God! Eh. I should probably just take another inspiration here. Card's nuts. Is Approach even good in Best of One? Feels so dirtily. Ugh. I'm going to be cut off so hard if I take Approach and pass another Inspiration. Normally I would just slam the Killian here, but now that I have Approach, I'm going to take the Practical Research. Damn, this pack slaps. Oh my god, we're passing such a good, like, Boros or Silver Quill deck. Gonna take science. What a pack, though. Thunderous, Shock, Masterpiece, Pledge Mage. All right. Slamming the Quandrix Apprentice. Pledge Mage, Summoning, Hunt. Yeah, we're, we're doing stuff. I'm probably going to end up taking uh, the, uh, what do you call them, campuses much higher than normal. This is still a good start to a draft, it's just... Uh, it's going to be less streamlined. Eric Jardine, thank you for the two month sub. Johnson Sins, thank you for the nine months of Prime. Mysticals, thanks for the 22 months. I don't remember if I got you guys ready. Thrill of Possibility, I don't like that card. Oh wait, you mean Thrill of Discovery. Is that the one you're talking about? Regain two life and pitch two cards. So I'm just taking Teach by example here. Teach by example can be really good. Prophecy. Over revitalize. Some late hunt the specimens going around. There was a reckless amplomancer there too, but we don't want that. Drake's fine. Alright, how do I upload my data to 17 lands. I started using their client. Does it just automatically run my stuff? View my data. What does this do? Oh, here we go. I added some command yesterday. I don't remember what it was. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to splash study break. Let's take assistant. We're not going to play the silver cool campus. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's a late agonizing remorse. Channel. Oh my god, magma opus. Just the casual double mythic. Man, all the wrong campuses. I guess Pillar Drop Warden's fan. Ah, uh, Professor. I guess I'm just splashing red, though, aren't I? I think I'm blue green base. Yeah, I'm gonna take Professor here. Splash some. 
nonsenses. Weather the storm. Hmm. Should I just take spell satchel? <laughs> Expel colony. I think the satchel might actually be good. But then again, so is Scurred Colony, which we know we'll play. Okay. Tendril's fantastic. This is starting to look like my uh, arena open deck. Cram session, pledge mage. It's gonna be one of these cards. Pledge mage is pretty good, but I do want some more learn cards. Sorry, less, yeah, learn cards. Yeah, I think, well, Cram is probably better for what I'm trying to do, too. Yeah, I'll just take the campus now. Subtraction, planning. Planning's pretty good with approach. Teachings isn't terrible, although I don't think my deck is going to be running out of cards in hand too quickly, so let's just take the subtraction. Man, too many damn black and white campuses that we don't need. I guess I'm going to take another subtraction here. I don't think I need the Amplomancer. Hmm, pop quiz. Cogwork's also good. Alright, I probably don't need any more spells. Ooh, boo these silver quill campuses. Hey. <laughs> I do think Satchel's going to be good in this deck, so. Well, I'm certainly not running two teach by example, but my likelihood of running servants pretty low. Spined Carrick isn't terrible. It blocks a lot of early game crap. Fortunately, we still have another pack to go, so. <laughs> we could have had the, uh, what's it called? Weather the Storm and Tendrils of Agony. <laughs> uh. Am I first picking a campus guide here? This feels so wrong. Oh my god. <sighs> no, pass color's double red. It's too hard to cast. It's double red and then white. Like, it's, it's, I've tried splashing this card before and it's just too hard. I guess I could take the pop quiz instead, sure. We'll wield the campus guide. I don't even want that though. Eh, Plarg is okay. I'm almost, hmm, I'm almost wondering if I just take, like, Cultivator here. Iteration's fine. Another Colony, another Cram. Take the creature that ramps. Ooh, Zamone's very good. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Now hold up, hold up. Second Science might be fantastic. Really? I think I'm taking another Sciences here. We're gonna wheel something out of that pack too. You again! It's not even worth. It's a 3-2 that gains for when it dies. Should I just take Mage Duel here? I don't think we want Sequence. Really? Y'all want Sequence? I feel like I want the removal, but... Solve the equation should wield, right? Yeah, fine, I'll take the sequence. Another we could have had two tendrils of agony! No! It was meant to be. Extremely ruined, extremely punished, extremely unlucky. Damn. 
late flunk too, but we'll just take another campus here. Another cram session's great. I probably don't even need this campus guide since I have two crams. Damn. Another cram session? They're not bad. They might be better than Arcane Subtraction since I can just cast them immediately. Could also take another Scurrid Colony. Mm, I might not have enough actual lessons though. Two guy, Two sciences and a prophecy? I needed more learn. I mean, I can always rummage. And we do want the ramp. <laughs> oh, we running that, baby. All right, I can cut the subtraction now. Combo deck. Combo deck and limited. The deck is beautiful. Will it win? I think I'm cutting the assistant, right? Although I guess, nah, I have the uh, magma opus. What's my one cut? Could it be a pop quiz? I, I suppose I can cut a pop quiz. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's figure out this mana base. I think I'm gonna play it safe and run two of each of the plains and mountain. Remember, I have two sciences, but this gives me the out to like emergent sequence for one of them and still be able to lose the emergent sequence creature. This still gives me eight green sources too. I might want to go nine green. Yeah, I don't need that much blue. I could probably shave another island for another forest. Because green is what we need, absolutely. I think I like this. Am I going to emerge it for planes? I mean... Probably. Once in a while. Let's just put it this way. It might come up where I want to. So having a secondary seems good. I mean, this also overlaps with my red, so it's not like I have only six sources to cast Teach. I also have the two mountains. Alright, let's go. Looks fun. Maybe? I feel like I probably just want to grab cram session or something here. Or field trip. I guess I'll go with cram session because I can cram into sciences immediately. Lead with the bigger creature. Next turn I can cultivate her into cram. <laughs> That's fine. You think I care about these creatures, bruh? Thank you. 
he's just giving me way too much time to dirtle. And that's exactly what I want to do. This is just my oh shit card. We digging. We looking for the juicy fruits. The co daddy. Thank you for the 19 month sub. Seventeen cards left. Oh, they have a shock? You got me. Oh, whatever, I don't care about that. Solanus 80 month sub. Hello, friend. Dude, where's my approach? Dude, where's my car? I guess I'll just put the stinky magma opus back on top. How unlucky that we don't get to cast our 7 drop, instead I have to cast my 8 drop twice. Yeah, basically. Cast Magma Opus twice is basically casting uh, Approach the Second Sun twice. Resculpt! What the? Who plays that? No, I don't have lethal anymore. No, what is this meme? God! There were only like 10 cards, maybe, in our deck that we hadn't seen, and of course one of them was Stinky Approach. How rude. Not letting me have fun. 
<laughs> I have two planes in the deck. <laughs> uh, I actually think it's a keep on the draw. You know how many mountains I have in the deck too? Two. If I draw a mountain next turn, I swear to God, I will end you. Forest. <laughs> what is this? This is not realistic. It's possible, but it's just not realistic. All right, there we go. I guess I wait until I can also play the Apprentice first. First play, Quintorius. Ooh! Alright. Kill me in, in time. That's good. They might be able to kill me fast enough. Eh, maybe they won't. Taj Mahaladeen, thank you for the six month sub. REOP. You're good, but I'm better. Island off the top. What the rare into rare? The hell is that cheat?
All right, hopefully they don't have a discard effect. Three, four, five, six, seven. I was thinking about playing Symmetrist plus Tendrils, but I think this makes sense. Hope they don't have a trick up now. Ooh, Chad, I'm gonna die! I don't think there's a card I can draw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I could have naturally drawn Opus. That would have been good. Alright, GG. Yeah, I went with the greedy play. I don't know. If I just go Symmetrist plus kill their combat professor, they're a lot slower to kill me, right? They still have the verse, so they get to kill my Symmetrist and hit me for a bit while still deploying a creature, but... Combat Professor off the board is 3 damage a turn. 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop is cheat. Oh, this hand's nuts. Time walk, time walk, time walk. <laughs> I think that's what these cards are, right? No! No! 1-1 oh! one, one for 1! What's up, Strung Out 79? Thanks for the prime. Whoa, dude. <laughs> this is so, what, why, what? What is happening? Why are you casting that? Dear Lord. I mean, I have a lot of life gain. I've gained four, I have another eight. I have another 10 points of life gain in hand. <sighs> I need to find a creature though. All right, I'll keep both of those. Acceptable draw steps. Ooh. Thank God the professor has four power. I have a feeling this is going to be good. Yeah, I've gained, I've gained ten life so far. I need to make sure I can cast my uh, Opus next turn by grabbing another land here. In case they randomly stone me, I don't know. Uh, well, burning the Guiding Light made sense. I don't know about that Infuriate. Using the Infuriate was kind of weird.
I think I'm just gonna main phase the Opus. So they can't untap with like beaming light or something. Oh my god, if they had mana tithe there, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, I just, if I see a rare, I take it out of a pack, and then I just play it in my four-color deck. That's how you draft. Pings me and stuff. Well, I don't even need my sword to win. Oh? Oh! I guess I'll draw Opus again next turn. Oh, I should have tapped the Planeswalker, damn it. Sorry, chat, hunted. No! Ah, oh, there goes our teach by example on, on Opus. This deck is nice. What a treat this deck is. Previews are starting already? What? Are they really? It's not a meme card. Approach is actually good. It's just, I first picked an inspiration and had the chance to take a second, but Approach was in the pack. This is high upside play. If I draw another untapped land, we get to go satchel into cram. Don't lash me, bro. No lashes. Lashes trash. Lash is the trash. What a sample hand. I like how a plane's on the battlefield with this hand. What's up, Florida? Thank you for that raiding potty. Hmm, somebody said they were previewing stuff already. I have no idea. Ugh. <sighs> So, I'm gonna go with Satchel into Science here, then next turn I can Cultivate into Inspiration. Assuming I did my math right. Eee, okay, maybe I'm playing Professor. Mm. No, I'm playing Cultivator still.
Oh, are we? Are we the damage? Way too tall for too long. 51 month sub, hello friend. Just gonna pass here. Double block the professor, see what they do, and then magma in response to anything silly. If they just let the damage happen, then I'll let I'll let the trade occur, because I don't really care. Alright, let's rumble. Show me your moves. Priority is yours. I accept. Your offering is accepted. Stop playing five toughness creatures. Maybe I should have actually done this in combat after the professor died, but before they could play something. Might have been a mistake on my part not to have. But the Zeus? A treat for the numster? Imagine casting Opus into Approach of the Second Sun. I don't need to imagine because I just did. Also, how much life have I gained this game? Four, six, eleven? Thirteen, rather, I can I can math. Only thirteen life gained? Got me. Attack? Why on earth would I ever attack? Don't be silly. I'm gonna inspiration the unwilling ingredient. I'm gonna grab my scry. We don't need to do it yet, so we'll cast Professor so it can block the Pledge Mage. Land and pass. Next turn I can Prophecy and draw with Satchel. So I'm going to draw this, scry these two to the bottom, draw, draw, and then win. So two turn win. Chompsworth, thanks for the 14 month sub. Late to the party equation. Late to the party. You know if you have solved the equation in your limited deck, you're doing good things. Ah, 21! Oh, they got me to 21! Brutal! Brutal! Ah, what is it like?
Uh oh, there's a lot of forests. Have had double tendrils of agony too. You're not wrong. Auric lower mage. updating my stream title with hot tub in the memes all memes I guess let's just go ahead and grab the approach cuz I'm a fish Have a slight problem here. <laughs> they do have a bit of pressure, yeah. Hopefully, they don't have enough, another follow up creature this turn. Go to 11, get 7, go back up to 18, take 11 again. Papa Yogurt, thanks for gifting five subs to the channel. Frogman7777, thanks for gifting out six subs to the channel. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. Sorry, Lord Sync, we don't do green screens on... on... Uh... Arena. Maybe they for some reason activate their Amplomancer main phase here. I don't want to draw the approach yet, I want to draw it next turn. I could put like Cram Session on top and just Rummage, but play it safe. You can kill three creatures this turn. That ain't it. GG's. <laughs> what a deck, what a life. 
would veto that green screen anyways. Symmetry Sage. Okay, fine, I'll play a creature. To back Rowan's? So I don't really want to attack, they block with a 3 3, and then I'm forced to pump. No, I don't think we want to do that. Let's see how many volts you can take. Legit, it's possible I don't even care about that card. Just do my own game plan, you know? No, this is creature you control. It's gonna ult next turn if they want, but they don't have that much mana to really do stuff with it. They didn't want to wait for double Electrolyze, huh? Maybe they're gonna get greedy and keep upticking. I mean, maybe it's not that greedy, but... You gain an extra 7 life. I better find one of my haymakers real fast, though. I'll say that much. No holding back. Oh, double practical research. Draw eight. I need to draw Opus or Approach next turn. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall way too far behind. No, Hidden Reach, come back! Come back! I guess technically I should be attacking first. Trust me. 
We will fight again. Still pretty important to get rid of that now, even though they have the ult already and quite a bit of mana. Still makes all their spells cheaper. This is kind of a scary attack. Ooh, a Prismari command. Nice. Alright, I guess they're going to kill my assistant right now. Makes their apprentice unblockable. The game plan is to cast Approach of the Second Sun and then... Uh... Oh yeah, they have another burn spell and then draw practical research of our own. Oh, that's right, they still have the emblem, doi. Why is it tapping all of my green? Don't be a troll. Of course, the, the two times that I've gotten approach certainly should have just grabbed Opus. This is more fun when it works. <laughs> yeah, opponent got to emblem their planeswalker. They're having a grand old time. We're a little bit away from that. I have a few draws that give me a chance this turn. Practical research into like inspiration could be good. Opus would buy me potentially enough time. Ooh, they have study? Ooh, all right, never mind. Is that lethal? That's gonna be very close. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. Not quite lethal. Very close, though. No, Opus. <laughs> Opus is the out. Tap, tap, burn, burn. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> How dare they? How dare they? They might even just have a counter still, too. No! <laughs> I mean,
mean, I had to cast Opus on their turn, but... It's a Bonkers 45. Thanks for that prime sub. Killian? Yeah, I want to play Quandrix here. Next turn, Inspiration, then the turn after that, Cultivator seems fine. Oh, they have a Beaming Light? That sucks. Whatever, I have to go for it. Beaming Defiance or whatever. Just pretend that, oh, wait a minute. Why is priority being held then? Oh, it could be a swords, yeah, good call. I might actually just clear the board of the bird right now. Since I think that card's gonna be more problematic later on if I don't, this is a good opportunity to. Ah, study break, that could be it too. Last card study break for sure. Pretty good. All right, next turn we can Teach into field trip, grab the second science and the prophecy. Uh, yeah, so the reason I said they could have beaming defiance there, again, Killian reduces the cost of anything that uh, targets a creature. Uber Ramparoo. Where you at, son? Son, hello, son. Sun? All right, we're gonna start scrying, I guess. Hey, bonkers! Thanks for gifting some submarinos. Appreciate you. Attack? No, thank you. Kenji, you have good attacks. No, thank you! I've got a different plan. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Pretty sure I scribed that to- I guess I shuffled right after. Chat, attacking is for chumps. I should attack. I should be attacking. I'm probably gonna draw Opus before Suns and wish I had attacked a couple times. Sanguine Blonde! Uh, thank you for the 12 month sub. Wait, they got back Expel. Alright, guess I'm actually never attacking then. <laughs> Good cards? No thank you! 
don't have any more lessons left, do I? Alright, so I guess we'll hold that until we draw a land. That expels a dead card if I never attack. That's five head right there. I guess they could very easily have discard effects in their deck. So I want to wait on that. Murray's Bagels, thank you for the 16 months! Ah, uh, we might just demoralize him to death. They might just concede to Opus, buy back Opus. Now there's our solve. Ooh, actually. I can solve for approach. Cast approach, assistant the solve. Nah, I'll just go back. Go get Opus, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's somewhere there. <laughs> God, I don't want to win with damage. This is annoying. It is embarrassing, truthfully. I kind of hope they have a Wrath, and then I just win with Approach. <laughs> uh... No! Damn it. Lame. Lame win. Bum, bum, bum. Even though this is the first draft of the day, if we can get a win here, this will be the... Uh... Third, seventh winner in a row. Huh? Oh, okay. First draft of the day joke. You think I'm a joke to you? Is that what you just said? Baby, look at their start. Hey, all right. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be a, on a little bit of a delay, but we've got a plan. Oh, 
double electrolyze. No, I think it's actually, well. Yeah, Opus is probably still better. Jesus. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just better to get approach here. I hope I just rip the approach off the top. Darn. I don't need to draw a card with Satchel yet. Here we go! Oh my god, I'm, if I had one more mana here to go cram, reckless, and mage duel the dream strix, we would actually be okay. I actually have to go like this, I'm pretty sure. Somehow hope they don't have anything. Dead to anything here, but I have to keep the cram session. Oh, biddies! Oh, biddies! Thanks, bonkers. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. GG. Very close, though. We just needed one more turn. Yeah, so I needed to hold the cram session because I don't have enough mana to draw a card with Satchel and cast the approach. I needed to hold the cram session to rummage and then cast approach next turn. Oh, we'll let them have their fun. No! Well, I didn't want them to know that I had it. 